Hello and welcome to another LNER 377 review and today we have the East Coast Flying Scotsman train pack. First things first then, I'm going to tell you who it's made by. It's made by Hornby, as you'd guess. Um, and it's just like a model of the East Coast Flying Scotsman service that was brought out in the spring of 2010. Anyway, let's get the box open. It's, it's a very nice packaging, and it's quite standard for um, for train packs to come in this style of packaging. But once you get inside, it's basically the usual stuff, kind of styling. Obviously, not a patch on the um, backman packaging but I suppose it's more environmentally friendly anyway this is just the instructions um, it is a ring field motor but it is it has been improved it just tells you what to lubricate it with where to lubricate if you can get it open as you can see where to lubricate how to take the body off and just things about the ring field motor really oh yeah and it talks about um, how to make your pantograph actually work not that we'll be doing that anyway well there's the proof that this has been DCC'd well what should we get out of the box first um, I'm not really sure I think we'll start off with a DVT. Come on. There we go. So here we go. Just wait for it to decide to focus. There we go. And first thing you notice is this very nice Flying Scotsman badge on the front. It doesn't have working lights, but and it doesn't have sprung buffers, but to fair play to it, it looks really nice. That says authorised personnel only, the number is 82205. They're not metal, but they are plastic and they do look very realistic. Cab detail, it's alright, at least I've actually put something in there. Got a warning sticker, and you can feel this. You can feel that this lettering, and it's very nice. And it feels quite solid as well. I don't know if there's interior detail. I haven't opened her up to have a look, but the bogey detail is very nice. And just look at that. That is really top notch. You just see that. Um, and then it just like suddenly fades to the silver. That is really nice. Moving to the end, quite distinctive to the Mark IV. Nice wide gangway and lines. That are very streamlined. It looks a very streamlined approach. And yeah, just wait for the camera to focus. Because it doesn't seem to be wanting to focus today. Come on, camera. What are you doing? There we go. That always does the trick. So that's the outside. And it looks very nice. Especially from the distance. Very nice indeed. Say, so it's still quite old moulding. We'll get one of the coaches out. There's no point in showing you both of them because they're both the same. Is it going to focus? There we go. Finally. Um, as you can see again, the detail is alright. It's not the best, but it's it'll do for now. It's very nicely um, paint painted. That sort of wins out all the um, 
the bad parts to it, like the massive couplers. The ends again are the same, We've got a C3, means it can't go on all the um, network. The interior details alright, could do with a bit of a paint, but yeah, I love this though, you can feel that again, top notch quality that is. Well, is it worth it for one of these coaches, 28 quid? Well, yeah, if you want your um, if you want your set looking something like that, it's definitely worth it. Which I'm planning on doing it. So hopefully I'll get some of those coaches for my birthday. The number is one two four one nine. And I say the detail is quite good for the old moulding. I love these grey doors. That looks really nicely moulded. And that is very realistic as well. But yeah, not much more to say on this coach. It's just good. Good quality. Good quality paint job. I mean, it's not a patch on Batman, but it's still fairly nice. Now for the best bit, the class 91, let's try and fish her out of a box, there we go, and as you can see it looks very nice indeed, so let's bring the focus Is it going to focus? Come on. It's acting very slowly today. There we go, finally. And as you can tell already, I really love this. Despite the detail, you can't beat it. It is so nice. I don't think they make them anymore. I don't think they make the Flying Scotsman set. The number is 91101 and it's just stunning. I love this little um, valance at the front. Got handrails and the beautiful Flying Scotsman logo which you can feel as you'd expect. The bogies are very nicely detailed for the old moulding, very nice. This is a bit bland, but that is actually how it is in real life, so I can't criticise them on that. The pantograph works. It's not the realistic of things, but it's good enough. It looks it looks the part. Um, moving to the back, we can see the blunt end. And that's one of the nicest features of this. I really like the blunt end because nobody really takes any notice of it. But it is there. And the cab to the blunt end. And again, the beautiful fading effect, which is very nice. Overall, then, it's a very nice loco. Let's just get the camera to focus again. There we go. It is very nice. Very nice indeed. If you can buy one of these, I suggest you buy one. They're really nice and they look really nice on a modern layout. And that's it for this video. Goodbye.